Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Night in the Woods. My name is Weasel, and yeah, we had some real talk with Bea, and I think it's uh, time to check the laptop, see if anyone wrote us. Uh, maybe Bea wrote us again, you know, just some... Yep, she did. Hey, you. Hey, me. I'm so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, May. Think that you did that. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. You're welcome. Oh, I never go away. You'll never get rid of me. Aww. I can think of worse fates. <laughs> Alright. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at the party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, party again. We need to do more parties. You're very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. Good times. Let's get some sleeps. Ah. Sleepy sleeps. Bedtime. Yup. We're gonna get some sleep and hopefully no scary nightmares. But I mean, we had a nightmare pretty much every night for the last 10 nights or so. So I wouldn't be surprised if we wake up next to a giant fish or something. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. No, no nightmares. Oh, that's nice. I guess there was none this night because uh, the god cat said, I'm gone now. No more nightmares or so. Eh, whatever. That's fine. We have a Quaker perk named Andy. That's awesome. All right, we're going to have a quick look if uh, dad cleaned out the basement. Nope, he did not. kind of feel that's where we're going to find the safe. And down we go. I guess mom is at the kitchen table again, so... I guess we're gonna talk to mom. Hey, mom. Oh, right. Rip. Good morning. There's my little sunshine, Daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Okay, well, I'm going to make an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, mom. It's fine. It's not... It is very much not fine, hon. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby, and I'm making you an appointment. May, Han, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. No, nope. staring contest. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, Han, please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. Aw. Well, let's go out and wreck some shit. That's what we're gonna do. Sweet. Oh. Did I just run on a squirrel or something? It sounded like it. Was well, this construction on the left side, uh, on the right side done? Yes, it is. Ooh, where can we go now? Oh, it's just forest, trees. What am I finding here? There's a bridge. Look at that nice parallax effect. Not parallax. Actually, it is parallax, but it's probably just 3D. Just seems parallaxy to me. Possum Springs. You're not lost, you're here. Well, that's, that's a good one, I guess. After this, a few miles and you go onto the highway and it's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall and the haunted barn in Brittle. Always next year for campfires and corn dogs. No. You know, this, this is a game that makes you kind of feel like, oh yeah, just walk along here. That, at least to me, makes you kind of feel sentimental about, you know, your youth. A little bit. And friendship and such. So it's, it's really nice, even though... You know, the plot hasn't, like, really thickened yet with the ghost and whatnot. I don't think that's what it's about. I mean, it's probably a big part of it. Otherwise, all those nightmares are kind of weird. I like when she jumps her, like, ice. Like, get a little smaller. So, yeah. I guess this doesn't do a whole lot. Oh, it's Aunt May. Oh, God. What do you want? It's Aunt Mall Cop. Hello to you too, May. Meh. I wanted to let you know, we ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. I belong to a middle-aged man and medium build, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid? Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, but you're not listening. 
When I told you there was a ghost, you weren't listening to me. Have a nice evening, May. Can someone tell me why everyone looks like cats? Well, that's a style. Not everyone looks like cats. See? That's a bird. And there's a bear and, you know, it's animals. Anthropomorphized, anthropomorphized, Jesus, I can't say the word. You know what I mean. It's a Bojack Horseman situation. We got going on. <laughs> May and Aunt have such a love-hate relationship. Pretty much. Uh, where to go? I guess I'm going to Bay again. Bay is best. Or Bea. Bea. Let's, let's stick with Bea. It's not B. Because that makes no sense. Oh shit, I walked backwards out of it. Good. Ugh, weasel. Yes, we are open. I like the signs. Like, yes, dot, dot, dot. We are open. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Ghost? Sorry, ghost. Thanks. And I feel bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning, and I feel like someone else is in my head, and my skull is going to explode. So, yeah, not good then. Nope. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we had this talk. I, I guess I'm gonna go wait to Greg or so. I mean, there's still these other two leads that I have to follow. One of them is a Greg, and one is with a good old... Uh, Angus. Angus is his name. Angus the Dangus. Um, video outpost. Yeah, let's let's see if we can go out with Angus. Maybe we can now. That, that'd be nice. Nice adventure with him. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Are you up for this park trip? Yeah, I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that I was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I need evidence. What counts? Uh, a ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I've verified you're a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May and I saw a ghost and this is Angus who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus and this is May. She's a crazy person. I, I can already tell they're having a great chemistry. This is going to be great. The park, not the game. Part of the game. All right, let's see what we can find in the park. Nice evening. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I'm used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth of a frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's head. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Probably a good idea. Oh, that seems rather nice. Post it. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. I don't know. You can't go to the woods to, like, socialize with the woods. I guess. There's some folks living in cabins up there. You can, uh, feed and touch them if you want. Hmm. It's a weird old place up there. Uh, they're all kind of weird stuff back in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. <laughs> Don't cheat on Greg, you sly weasel. I would never. Also, she's into, uh, you know, her own gender. At least she told, like, there was this hot girl. She might be B. Bi. I guess, I guess it's bi. I don't know what, what the right pronunciation of that is. And we're going up the hill. Yep. Yeah, you just keep following Angus. I like that his walk is just like, hands down. Just super straight walk. What is it with these furnaces in, on this place? That's fairly odd. But this is so friendly. Blair Witch Project inbound. Okay. Mm, I should go back for Angus. He'd go back to me. All right, I guess I'm gonna go back and wait for Angus to come around. He's a little slow. I'm a little bit too fast, too excited to make some progress. How? Come on, Angus. To Angus, we're <sighs> great. He's probably waiting somewhere. He saw something. He wants to talk about it. Maybe the furnace. And I just couldn't wait. I just had to run along. All right, let's let's talk. 
Let's, let's talk about this. You alright? Yeah, got asthma is all. Sorry, you gotta wait for me. Mm, do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. Kiln? Like a furnace. Oh, furnace for what? Limestone. You like do something with it in there and it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because uh, it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like uh, this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa. I know, right? Like right where we're standing, there were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Yay! I, I guess I'm just gonna walk his speed. Just, you know, with him. This is nice. Like a nice troll up the hill. No reason to hurry. I do have a lot of energy, though. You got this. You got this, dude. Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No prop. So, if this place was underwater, where'd the water go? I don't know, to the ocean, I guess. And, like, the earth is always shifting, so mountains get all pushed up. Where it used to be just flat ground. Weird, because things are boring nowadays. It's to think, like, all that crazy stuff was going on there. There's always more weird stuff that happened. To find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Okay, I guess we're gonna stop at the next kill. Or we're gonna see. Maybe we're just gonna go for the next part of the map. Hey, wait, Lane, what do you, what? What do you want? Bro! You just brought food and then threw it on me? Why? What, what? I don't know what his deal is. Oh, you're waiting there? Okay, no problem. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Sorry. Seriously, it's fine. Hang off for a moment. For a minute. I should know all the stuff about, like, ancient sea creatures, rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. My class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Who doesn't? Things were so scary and cool back then. We died in like five minutes. Oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years, years between us. Weird time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're, we're almost to the top. Sweet. Wheatley's trying to feed me? I doubt it. I doubt it. Well, that was a hike. <laughs> that was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Really? This is where this... Oh, no, wait. Right, we're going to the society with... Uh, is this the graveyard? Graves, huh? Yeah, those were, I forget, they were involved in the Possum Massacre. That, like, labor strike thing where it was, like, the Miners vs. National Guard happened back in town, like, a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? Mm, I think those were some sort of bad guys and some of the Miners didn't want them to be buried in town. Oh, there's, like, a few old graveyards up here from, like, colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere, too. Well, that's spooky. Uh, just bones. Ancient shark bones! You see, nothing left to be scary. I mean, it's freaking the middle of the night, and we're seeing graves in the middle of a forest. I don't know what, why this is scary. This is scary to me. Good, good enough. Cool. It's a cliff. This is where I wanted to go to hopefully see a ghost. Wow, we're up really high and really far out. I can't wait to see town from here. It's all of us behind whatever ridge that is. So what? Are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me. You're the expert. I guess we just wait and see if anything happens. Good times. Dip, 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 dip. I'm just gonna have some coffee. Nice night. Uh -huh. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we're all at that longest night bonfire and we spotted the constellations together and you told us all about them? Uh, that's not a thing that happened. Oh, wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellation... 
I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations. You tell me about them. Okay, then. All right, let's look for constellations. Easy. All right, find some constellations. Wait, are those going to be real ones or fake ones? Mm, just ones I remember or dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Okay, let's see. Um, this. No, that doesn't work. Uh, over here. And this. And. Nope, that doesn't work either. How about that? Nope. I'm just connecting lines in the hopes that some of them will stick. Okay. Nope, that doesn't work either. Work with me here. Help me out. That looks like a constellation, doesn't it? I'm really bad with those, by the way, so... Don't, don't expect me to, to nail this by any stretch. Guess I just have to do this little mini game to figure that out. Uh, where do you go then? There you go. Ah, look at that! I found one. It's the, it's a pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real, or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I didn't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. Alright, uh, more constellations. I guess we're just connecting those in a circle. There you go. Whoever that is. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him and he's chasing a diamond. Oh, oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He left, uh, you know, remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah. My granddad used to tell me a whatever stories. Okay, yeah. Anyway, that cat was in there. Like, shiny things. Was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh, wow, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. Extremely decent. N next one. I think this is this one, and I'll have to can't connect those so maybe like that I doubt it oh that was easy it's a bell okay that's a bell and in the middle is the eye looking at you oh that's uh I know this one a little from like a prog rock album covers I think the world ends when it rings that makes sense it's gonna be really loud there's no sound in space I mean like basically no sound usually that sounds really scary for some reason well at least it means we're not gonna get rung to death by a bell. That's a good point. Because it can't travel. And... Oh, this is a big one. That's that's why I had a hard time connecting it. And this is a boat or so? Let's see. Oh, it's a whale! It's a whale! And it's got, like, the world on its back. Oh, wow, that's sad. Yeah. Kind of a lot of responsibility. Did the whale consent to this? I think it just always was that way. <laughs> You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who, who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big. But what's in the whale swimming in? Space! I guess it's dumb to get mad at ancient people. Yeah. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. Mm, I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts or gods or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all. I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know how much I ever told you. Or how much Greg has told you. But I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? What are you doing, Wheatley? Um... Thanks, Wheatley. You want to step up and get off the microphone? Thank you. Worst. Uh, my dad didn't like me. And my mom didn't either. And like... Um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, no it's fine. Um, my dad uh, used to hit me a lot. And my mom was probably worse. So, like, she wouldn't feed me. Wow. Which is why I really like cooking now. Huh. <laughs> 
She'd like to shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know that at all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes, or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers so I could like signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? Never did. I don't know why. After a while, I like started feeling guilty too for some reason, like this was something bad I was doing. Like being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. I mean, that's what abused people feel. They feel like it's their fault. That's the problem with it. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question, can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Uh, well, my mom's kind of old now. I uh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army, and my dad left like 10 years ago, so who knows where he is or if he's even alive. He's still alive. I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. Aww. Huh, well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah, anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve, something you could debunk or know. I don't know. Saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that shit to you... It can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghost or god. So, like, I feel like uh, if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in god or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so, like the constellations, I don't believe there's a whale out there. But I uh, believe that the stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know, we're good at drawing lines for the spaces between stars. Like, we're pattern finders and we'll find patterns and we are really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to, so I believe in a universe that doesn't care. And people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like God found them. Like, when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So, like, the stars can stay up there and not give us a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. Yeah, this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. Nah, <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Oh, it's that guy. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about being a living person. Standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike. Nice night. He's not answering. Uh, that's a little hostile, right? Uh, that's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma! I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. Alright. Rawr! Okay, we're just running past him. Yeah, that's, that's, that is a little terrifying. I'll, I'll give it that. Alright, yeah, we're, we're, we're just straight up leaving. We're, we're just straight up leaving. Is he gonna come after us? Oh yeah, he is. Man, he's fast. Jesus. That's a, that's a creepy guy. He's, he's creepy. This game hits all the fields. <laughs> you okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or it was some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kinds throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went up there you threw up? Uh, that wasn't too far from there. Who does? Why does Noba? Oh, what? What's happening? Whoa! Okay! You are high right now. That was odd. Ugh. May. 
Uh, what's wrong? Do you need me to pull over? Oh, uh, my hat. Jeez. Okay, well, let's get you home. No. I need to talk to everyone tonight. What? All of us. I need to all of us. Oh, my. This, this is getting intense, guys. <sighs> Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have an idea of what's going on? Uh, oh, man, I look sad. There's a ghost that's in my head. There's a ghost following me. There's a ghost following me. Let's go with that. Like, it keeps showing up when we go out, like, investigate it. Or all of those times it could have just been a random person. Oh, that was his deep voice. No. <laughs> Breakfast time. Hey, Loopcation, how's it going? Thanks so much for staying subscribed for... <laughs> Two years, man. It's been two years already. That's crazy. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. <clears throat> no, I can, like, feel it in my head. Why do you think I freaked out earlier? I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that we don't believe that something's happening with you. It's just, don't know, it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are, like, 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have like stress, like sudden stress migraines, and you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out. I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently, and I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you call? What do y'all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, dude. So let's go and find your ghost. Mm, I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost haunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Thank you for believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering around up there alone at night. Close enough. All right. Let's hunt some ghosts. Sweet! We're gonna hunt some ghosts. Ghost hunting hype. Haven't been on a hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. All right. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. All right, we got a note. Thought Angus is psychic, but his head blocks it. That's probably it. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We're gonna explore and uh, the woods and hunt ghosts in the next episode. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye bye.